Rooting Hack For faster and guaranteed rooting of stem or branch cuttings, take a small piece of fresh aloe vera leaf and insert the cutting into it and then plant it into the soil. Roots grow as early as 10 days depending on the plant you choose. The Candle Hack Seal the upper cut end of your plant stem or branch cutting using few drops of candle wax. This helps prevent moisture evaporation and results in faster rooting. No browns for composting? Use a paper shredder and use the shredded paper and cardboard to add it into your compost bin for faster and smell-free composting. Easy Tomato Steaks Tomato plants require support to avoid awkward bends and also to give the best yield. String support your tomato plants using a small piece of GI metal wire. Make it into a U-shaped loop and then insert it near the roots. Tie one end of a string to this and the other end to some support at the top. Banana Peel Fertilizer for Flowering To make banana peel tea, soak pieces of banana peels in water for 2-3 to three days. Dilute this liquid with water in 1 is to 5 ratio and water your plants to provide potassium to your plants which increases flowering in plants and also makes the flower size bigger. Anti-gravity plant support While growing climber veggies, do not take them to a height above 6 feet but instead support in a slope-like fashion like take it to a height and then slope the growing end downwards to assist in long distance transport of water and nutrients for healthy growth. The arch-like trellis is the ideal support fence for growing climber or creeper veggies. Hairs to Roots Insert tomato seedlings as deep as possible to increase the density of roots formed from tiny hairy projections from tomato stems and this makes the plant stronger to produce the best yield. Big Leaves to get large size leaves in your money plant, use a moss stick or coir stick to anchor the aerial roots to it. Wet the moss stick whenever you water the money plant. Onion plus aloe vera rooting agent. Make a paste using onion and aloe vera gel and dipping the cuttings into it for few minutes before planting into soil will help in faster and guaranteed rooting. Spoon transplant. To transplant your seedlings, use a spoon. Dig out as much soil with it using the roots of the plant and hold the leaves of the plant and not the stem to pull out because this can squeeze and damage the water and food conducting tubes that is xylem and phloem and the little plant may die. Grow from junk. Never throw away your pineapple crown. Just remove the bottom leaves and keep the bottom inserted into a glass of water for a week and then transfer it to a container. It will bear fruits within a year. Eggshell water. One eggshell contains about 2 grams of calcium. When you boil eggs, a small percentage of this calcium as well as phosphorus is released into the water. Do not throw away this water but use it to water your plants that require a lot of calcium like the tomatoes and the peppers as well as the flowering plants. Cello Tape Pest Trap Wrap the cello tape in reverse on your fingers and use the sticky part to touch on the leaves infested with pests like aphids, whiteflies and mealybugs. Clay Soil Hack Remove clay or sticky soil from roots using this simple hack. When you bring your plant from a nursery and start repotting, most often you find they have stuffed the plant in a clay rich sticky soil. You can remove this soil without damaging the roots by soaking the root ball in water for a few minutes till the soil dissolves. Then you can repot this plant in a well draining potting mix. Root Teasing Always loosen up or tease your roots before repotting into a new container. Toilet Paper Cloning Hack Use aloe vera and toilet paper to produce roots faster during air layering your favorite plant. Aspirin Hack During conventional air layering, to produce faster and better roots, use one tablet of aspirin 350 mg per liter of water and add this water to your potting mix and then wrap it around the injured stem for faster and dense root formation. Hydroponic Cloner for faster rooting, make your own hydroponic plant cloner using a plastic bucket and an aquarium pump. Healthy roots develop within 8 days. Free Calcium Eggshells easily dissolve in vinegar and release the free calcium to your plants. Make eggshell powder and then add about a cup of vinegar to a cup of eggshell powder and stir it nicely and then leave it for an hour. Then dilute this in 1 is 200 or more 
to water your plants and treat acute calcium deficiencies which can produce blossom and rot disease in your fruits and veggies. Simplest Plant Cloner Use any container and place a couple of aquarium air stones to pump oxygen into the water. This helps in faster and guaranteed rooting of any plant cuttings in water. Wheelbarrow No wheelbarrow to move garden stuff? Do not worry. The cheapest alternative is a large piece of cloth or an old bed sheet. Just load on the heavy objects and drag it along. Aspirin for rooting when you propagate cuttings in water, do not forget to add a small piece of aspirin tablet into it for faster and stronger root development. Seed Split Trick Split the cilantro or coriander seeds before planting them using sandpaper method and apply gentle scraping pressure to crush the seeds and do not crush or damage them using heavy objects like these. This helps to grow enormous cilantro harvest. Scrape and Sow Use sandpaper to scrape the hard seed cover of certain seeds like apple, chiku and many other seeds for faster seed germination. Treat leaf curl virus using asafoetida. Take 500 ml of sour buttermilk, add 1 teaspoon or 5 grams of asafoetida powder to it and mix it well. Let it stay for 1 or 2 hours. Sieve this solution and spray thoroughly over the affected plant including the underside of the leaves. Repeat this every 3 days for 3 to 4 times to completely cure the leaf curl disease. Eggshell Planter You can use eggshells to sow seeds. To make drainage holes, scrape with a sandpaper and then use a thin drill bit to make a hole without breaking the shell. Egg Trays Cardboard egg trays can be used as seed germination trays. You can directly transplant the seedling along with the cardboard into the soil as this is biodegradable. Chalk Sticks Chalk is chemically calcium carbonate. You can bury a chalk stick into the soil while planting your veggies. This really works wonders for plants like tomatoes, peppers, squashes, eggplants and almost any vegetable plant. Strong Roots Strong roots means a healthier plant with a better yield. In its early growth phase, adding a source of phosphorus like bone meal powder or organic rock phosphate powder will produce stronger roots and produce a better harvest. Seed Viability Check An easy method to check viability of your larger seeds is to pour them into a bowl of water. If the seeds are floating, this means they are dry and not viable. Discard them and use only those seeds that sink to the bottom. No Garden Gloves? Scrape your nails into soap before working with your garden soil or your potting mix. This helps in cleaning your hands easily later on and also the dirt won't enter into your nail beds. Repel animals The simplest way to repel some animals like cats, dogs, rabbits and so on is to soak some pieces of cloth with vinegar and then stuff them in some areas of your garden. These animals cannot withstand the smell of vinegar and may not return if you repeat this process for few days. Similarly, using asafoetida wrapped in a piece of cloth will deter these animals and even certain insects. Magnifying Lens Use a magnifying glass to closely examine and diagnose your plant pests and insects to identify them and then follow the treatment accordingly. Tea Fertilizer You can use tea waste or coffee grounds on flowering plants as an organic fertilizer to boost blooms. Tea Waste Compost Add used tea waste or coffee grounds into your compost bin for faster composting because earthworms digest them very fast. Seed Spacing you can do perfect seed spacing for tiny seeds like spreading them apart in a row on toilet paper for better visibility and even spacing and sewing. You can make seed tapes either in a row or square or round seed board especially for carrot seeds for even spacing and better growth and ease of harvesting. Overripe Garden vegetables and fruits that become overripe are an easy target for pests. Remove them as soon as possible to avoid pest growth. Faster germination A simple hack for fast germination and healthy seedlings is to soak your seeds in Epsom salt solution for a couple of hours before planting, like half a teaspoon of Epsom salt in 100 ml of water. You can also spray Epsom salt solution on your seeds and seedlings for healthy outcome. Pick small You can pick small seeds for sowing with a stick or toothpick dipped in water. Acidify soil. 
For acid-loving plants like rose, hibiscus or hydrangeas, use 5 grams of alum powder in 1 liter of water every 15 days and this will boost flowering. Soil pH test using litmus paper. Mix water and soil in 1 is to 1 ratio. Dip the litmus paper and match the color with your color coding chart that came along with your litmus paper kit. A rough soil pH test method. Take a soil sample and pour some vinegar. If it fizzes and bubbles, you have an alkaline soil. What if the soil is acidic? Add baking soda, 1 or 2 teaspoons and mix it with soil. Then wet the soil baking soda mix with distilled water. If it fizzes and bubbles, then your soil is acidic because the acidic content in soil reacts with a base or alkaline stuff like baking soda. Free Bio Seed Pods Never throw away the toilet paper cardboard roll, but use it to make seedling cups which are biodegradable which can be directly planted into soil without disturbing the roots. Paper Pods You can also make seed pods by rolling some newspaper. And even this is biodegradable and similarly you can directly transplant with the pot into the soil or into a larger container. Mosquito repelling plants. Growing some plants like lemongrass, citronella, catnip, basils, marigolds, eucalyptus and many other plants help deter mosquitoes. Turmeric treatment. You can use turmeric powder from your kitchen to treat and prevent rose dieback disease after pruning your rose bush. Silica gel packets. Never throw away these tiny sachets. Use them in your seed storage container as desiccants which increases your seed life and protects them from fungus. You can also use these to preserve and protect powdered gardening stuff like bone meal, fungicide powder, rooting hormone etc. Just tape the sachet to the underside of the container lid and that's it. DIY watering can. Take the base of a soda bottle and place it around one end of a PVC pipe. Heat it up with a lighter. It should shrink and clamp around the open edge. No glue is needed. Use a pin and poke some holes in the bottle base. Next, cut the edge of the pipe at an angle using a saw blade. Next, insert the pipe into the inlet and use some hot glue to hold it in place. Optionally, color it to get the beautiful look. Mini Greenhouse Use plastic bins or containers as mini greenhouses or polyhouses for faster seed germinations. Do not kill. Avoid spraying a pesticide on the flowers. This is to avoid any harm to beneficial pollinator insects like butterflies and honeybees which are essential for pollination and fruit formation. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!